Next, we can say that um, one characteristic that all living things share is that they maintain homeostasis. Homeostasis is the ability of living things to keep their internal uh, conditions inside constant, even though outside it's changing. For instance, if it's warm outside, a dog may pant. They pant to cool their body so their body can stay the same inside even though it's hot outside. Or this child is pigging out, having a, something to eat. We maintain our blood sugar level when, we're, when we feel hungry. So um, that's a way for us to maintain homeostasis of our blood sugar level. We feel hungry, so we eat. We digest that food and our blood sugar level returns to normal. All life also has the ability to grow and develop. So we said before that all living things reproduce. All living things also grow in some way and they have the ability to develop or change over time. For instance, this butterfly started out as this tiny caterpillar and that was its larval form. It was the baby butterfly. It ate and ate and ate and eventually formed a pupa, which you see here, or a chrysalis. Inside, the caterpillar changed completely and emerged as a butterfly. So that's what we call development. It, it underwent a whole change in its whole life and its whole body. Um, that is one of the characteristics of living things. Finally, the last characteristic that scientists say all living things have is the ability to acquire and use energy. We call this metabolism. All living things have the ability to get their energy from somewhere. If you're a plant, you're getting it from the sun. If you are an animal, maybe you have to eat something like the boy in the last slide. Um, but somehow you have to get energy and you're going to use energy to do things. This picture is a single-celled organism known as amoeba. And amoeba swim around in the lakes and they find a little tasty something to eat. And you see he's wrapping his little fake arms around to gobble up that food item. So even a tiny single-celled amoeba has the ability to acquire and use energy. It has a metabolism. So those are your characteristics of living things. Reproduction, cells, response, homeostasis, growth, and energy use or metabolism.